Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. We are on here today to show you our brand new releases. It is Saturday, which means we have brand new products for you guys. Um, I did want to start off this video um, by saying we used to only do one release a week um, and several weeks now, most weeks, we have more than one product. So um, I know all of our PAL system is some of our just most used, most loved products. So we do come out with uh, PALS a lot of weeks uh, that are different versions of PALS. Uh, but we do understand that not every single one of our customers buys the PALS and that's why we always offer a sticker set or something else that you might enjoy. I know we had a comment last week um, that said that they were uh, tired of seeing the PALS and I get that. PALS are not going to be for everybody um, and we totally understand that. But for those that absolutely love it, I am still going to bring them out. Um, it's one of my most used planner systems, so I'm definitely going to keep creating them. Um, but just so you know, we bring out several products every single weekend and I in, in no means expect everyone to love and uh, purchase everything. That's just, it's not it's not practical. We're all very different. Our styles are different. Our planning is different. Our life is different. So I totally get that. And we here at Breezy Organization don't want to exclude um, anything or anybody. So we try to offer the best big variety here at Breezy Organization. So if you don't love every single product, I get that. I hear you. Um, but we will still bring stuff out for others that will enjoy it. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and that's totally okay. I love comments. I love it when you guys suggest ideas that you guys need. Um, that really, really helps me and it allows me to um, be able to cater to everyone and to have something for everyone. So um, I really appreciate the comments that are um, either telling me that you enjoyed something, so I know to bring uh, back more of that, or the comments that are telling me um, what you need. Uh, so that really, really is beneficial. So I appreciate every single comment. I do read everyone and I try to get back to as many as I possibly can. Um, again, if you have any questions about any of our products or how anything works, we do advise you to email breezyorganization.com or on our shop on Etsy. We have um, a wonderful, wonderful lady that will help you in any way possible to understand um, or work your products here. And then of course we are on Instagram. We've got hundreds of videos here on YouTube. I don't know if you know this, but nearly, I want to say every product, we may have missed one or two products along the years of us doing this, but nearly every single product that's on our website and on Etsy has a YouTube video. So if you look in the description of the product there, you'll find a link there. Most of them have links. I know I did um, miss some weeks here and there adding the links, uh, but there is a vi YouTube video that will go in depth on what you get on that product and how to use the product as well. Uh, we also have a Facebook group that is thriving new members all the time, and they post all different ways that they use their Breezy Organization products. So if you're looking for core Breezy Organization product use, um, definitely join that particular planning group. We would love to have you over there. Okay, so uh, if you have not picked up already, we talk about all things digital planning and productivity. Um, so I am per I personally use an iPad Pro uh, 12.9. I actually have a couple of iPads that I use, and I'll, I'll do a future video on if I only bought one iPad, which iPad would it be? And we'll go into that in a future video. But I personally use uh, for this video an iPad Pro 12.9 and an Apple Pencil. This will work across many different devices and apps. So we strongly encourage you to go to breezyorganization.com, download a free notes planner and some stickers to see how this works, if it will work in the app that you're wanting to use it in and the device you're wanting to use it with um, before you have to make any purchases. You can see if this works for you. Um, so getting right into today's release, I am really excited. So the next three weeks, actually, I'm trying to think one of those weeks is going to be the next month sticker. So yes, it's going to be a favorite week, but um, I have three exciting products coming out today. I have an exciting product um, and then I've got a new PAL system, um, PAL planner that is coming out um, and I'm super excited about it and, and to show you guys that. And then I have a new way of... Um, kind of planning in a way that I am just so excited about and we're getting out all the kinks and we're finishing creating that product. So that's going to be available in about um, three to four weeks. So definitely stick around. We've got some fun stuff coming. Um, it's always something new. That's what I love about digital planning is there's always something new that you can create, a new angle that you can look at this 
Um, and who doesn't want to make productivity fun? I mean, if I can get a whole bunch of stuff done and check stuff off and then have just a new creative way of doing it, I am definitely here for that. And I feel like a lot of our Breezy O community is like that because we like to change things up. Change is the spice of life or variety is the spice of life. One of those sayings like that, but it, it has to do with incorporating new things in. And so I'm really excited to show you what we have today and for the next several weeks. So I know this intro has been long, so let's get right into it. We've got two releases for you here today. Uh, let's start with the stickers. We have a spring bucket list, and I love this because somebody commented last week on our YouTube video that they wanted to see a spring bucket list. They didn't know that I had just created and just finished one up for this week. We try to film some of these in advance and some of them not so much, um, but we had this one ready to go. So I'm so excited that somebody commented last week and then we were able to deliver this week. That just makes me super happy. Um, um, so again, we've got hex codes along here at the top as usual. We've got lots of really cute ones in this spring bucket list. We continued on with our arches um, lettering, but they are separate from the stickers. So if you want to use any of these separate, you can. Uh, but we've got this gorgeous bird. It says bird watching. We've got a birdhouse. Rainy day with the little rain boots and the puddle. It's a spring bucket list. So you could use this on its own and make your own bucket list underneath it. We have making bread. So this is a very, very um, active thing within a lot of the people that I follow uh, is making bread. I haven't ventured out into that yet, but I see that that is a very um, up and coming thing that people seem to be super interested in. And then we've got spring cleaning, of course, springtime, uh, yard sale. I love this yard sale, although we do have um, a Nintendo in there and that would not be going in the yard sale if it were my house. <laughs> My kids love Nintendo. Um, and then we've got Manny Petty and we've got Car Wash. We've got Fly a Kite, um, Blow Bubbles, Gone Fishing. This one does come in two different skin tones and I just love having kids. I know there's lots of moms and nanas and stuff in the group. So I love having kids here. So we've got a light skin and dark skin here. And then we've got Fresh Lemonade. We have Plant Garden and then Outdoor Walk. Again, if you don't have kids, you could totally use this Outdoor Walk on some running shoes. We have some really cute running shoes in an exercise pack. So they don't have to be used with what we have them with here, but it gives you options. And then we have buy flowers because it's springtime and it's all about those flowers. Recycle and mushroom hunting, which I did not know was a thing and it's a thing. So we've got a cute little sticker for anybody that may do mushroom hunting in our group as well. So a really fun uh, spring bucket list sticker pack that's available. You can find it in the links down below. Um, but what's really exciting about this particular week is we have not come out with widget inserts in a few months. It's been a little bit. And so um, we brainstormed and came up with some more inserts that we can use on our daily planning and our weekly planning. And I don't know about you, but our widgets inserts are some of my most love planning tools. I absolutely love all the checklists and um, the idea of them and to be able to use them on the background of um, our shapes that come out every single month. So we've got widgets inserts volume number eight. Um, and if you've been around here from the beginning, we kind of did a variety in the first pack. And so we've just continued the variety theme. We don't have a theme of inserts for cleaning, a theme of inserts for bills. They're kind of all mixed together. And since that's the way the YouTube videos are and everything's been established, that's just the way that we are continuing on with this. So volume number eight, you get a project checklist, a project progress. Um, and I'll show you how some of these work here in just a minute. You've got weekly review, win and challenge for the week, uh, book progress, dinner tonight, uh, what you're listening to. This week we have errands and tasks, so kind of a double um, idea on this insert. So you can do two things instead of having two different inserts for that. I love that idea. Um, this was a suggestion from the group. So we've got order tracker and then if you've received it and if you're returning it, so you can put what you've ordered, the date it's due or the day it's due that week. And then if you've received it and if you're returning it, I love that idea. And then we've got Reader Tracker. Um, so this is going to come with a Sunday and a Monday start here. You could use this for the month, put it on your monthly spread, and just for all the Mondays and all the Tuesdays. I'm thinking of using this for a weekly spread and using this as chapters. So on Monday, if I read four chapters, I'll do four dots on Monday. And then how many ever chapters I read on Tuesday? Because normally I wouldn't read more than seven chapters 
in that particular book on a given day. Um, so if I'm physically reading now, audiobook, maybe, <laughs> but if I'm physically reading, I'm probably not going to do, um, I'm actually got, not going to get close to that. Probably I'm, I'm not a extremely fast reader. Um, so this I'm envisioning using chapters so you can use it, work it however you need it. Um, so we do have Monday start and a Sunday start on that one. Um, and then down here we have a spending checklist. So this is another thing that I feel like I could use, um, Sometimes spending is what I'm referring to as non-necessity. Now, again, you take this and use this however works for you. Um, but this is not going to be necessarily for gas or for necessity food, but maybe for coffees or refreshers or desserts, or I bought something, um, you know, I bought a purse. I bought anything that wasn't a need basically that I spent maybe in that week. So I can really see how much am I spending on stuff that's not a need and kind of gauge that and see if I need to hone in or if I'm doing okay with my spending checklist. So that's kind of how I'm going to use this. You could use this on your monthly, weekly, daily. Daily. It could be used for so many different things. You got a list for an item and a price here. So this is fantastic. You can use it a lot of different ways. Um, another Sunday Monday tracker we have is a pain tracker. This was another idea that we got from a customer in the group. Um, so Monday through Sunday and then Sunday through Saturday, you can put um, how our customer used it is she put pain level. So like the max being 10. So on Monday, 3-10. And then on Tuesday, 7-10. And then on Wednesday, maybe zero. So you can kind of keep up with your pain and the severity of it throughout your week. And then we've got a game schedule. So we've got a lot of moms that have kids and go to games. A lot of grandparents that go to games, they need a game schedule. But this will also work if you're into baseball or football and you want to keep up with what time games are, who's playing who. Um, I originally had this set up with colons and dashes where you could just write in, but I feel like depending on what you are keeping track of, you may need different options. So I left two blanks. So how I personally would use this, say I'm keeping up with baseball games, I would put, if I use this on a week, I would put Monday, um, and then I put like uh, Monday 6 p.m., and then I would put over here the team versus team. Um, so I would know who's playing and maybe the time. Now, if this is your kid playing, you may want to put like the location, date, and time. Um, you know, there's lots of different ways that you can use this for, but this gives you a base and a holder, a container to put that information, right? Um, so everything can stay organized. So that's basically what this is giving you. Um, and then again, we've got white um, to use on any of those darker widgets. And then if you slide over, you'll get the dark gray, which is going to work on any of your light color widgets so you'll be able to see. So we've got the dark gray Sunday, Monday starts. You should have everything covered within this pack. So now let me show you a couple of these in use. So I skipped ahead a couple of weeks and just put them on, um, just put them randomly on this page so I could kind of show you how this is going to work. So these are like orders that I have coming in and then I put what day of this week that they're supposed to be coming in. So that's orders tracker. And then we have this week. So this is errands and task. That's pretty much self-explanatory. This is the book progress. So I put the name of the book here and then you can just simply fill in this how far you are in the book. I love this one. It's so fun. And then we've got the pain tracker again. I showed how you do like so many out of 10 to keep up with your pain tracker for that week. This one I just put on a plaid background and it's a spending checklist. So I was going to cut this off and have this come up from the bottom of the page. And then I have, you know, what I've spent on what thing that I may be, that may be that I've bought or that I have coming in. And then here is a game schedule. So here um, is an idea of where you put the location and then you put the date and the time. This is more like if I have my kids games that I'm going to. Um, but like I said, you could use this like the team versus team over here. And then you would have, this is, it doesn't have the dash or the colon anymore. I left this blank because I just feel like it, you could use it better if I left it blank. Um, so this is blank now. And then you can just put, um, you know, Monday 6 PM and then you could put, you know, cards versus Rangers or, or whatever, whoever may be playing. Um, so that gives you a little bit of idea of how you can use these and how cute they look on our, um, background widget shapes. So you can pair any of those mix and match them. You can do our color changing shapes and do solid colors, lots 
and lots of options. So that is a look at our releases for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed those. Um, we have lots of fun stuff coming up, like I talked about at the beginning of the video. So definitely stay around. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. We've got tons of inspiration for you guys to look through um, and just help with anything that you may need help with as well. Thank you for joining us here today. Everybody that watches us every single week, I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Until then, happy planning.